Beth Rubens, today we talked about passing chords in the key of G um, and the key of C. So if you take a G chord, the sixth chord or the relative minor is E minor, and they pair beautifully. And the passing chord between them is a D over F sharp. So you leave your ring finger down, put your first finger on the low E, and you tuck your second finger way down to the G string. Then you can leave the pinky out and the first string gets muted. That takes you to E minor, and then when you go back to D over F sharp, just spread these out and add the ring finger back. So you want to just try getting really comfortable using that to walk up or down from G and E. Um, and then you can use that in Edelweiss when you get to that weird part. Then you do Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Just strum that chord once and just drop the root from F sharp to F. Um, and then you can do the passing chord trick in C. It's just a G over B. So you play the B with your second finger, and then the next three strings are open. To A minor. You can just kind of strum it like you did before. These are the most common tricks of the trade for folk guitar playing, or rock guitar playing. And uh, we talked about Hallelujah. One, two, three, four. Hallelujah is annoying, just pretend you're playing Ave Maria. It starts the same way. I think. No, I'm wrong. It's okay. Anyhow, so then we use that principle. Well, before I get move on, we did also the down, down, up from E9. You're going up three scale degrees. Do, Re, Mi. And then you're going Do, Ti, La, So, Major and Minor. So, Do, Ti. It's very good for your right hand. And then we revisited Natural Woman. So Natural Woman transforms a G chord into a C. So G at the, in the open position, whole step to A, whole step to B, half step to C. So that necessitates the capo at the seventh fret to keep all those relationships um, the same as they were when you played an open G. So it's G. Work the section independently. So first section is the verse. G. D over F sharp, our new passing chord. Thumb F. Root position C with the walk down. Okay, so that's your verse. Now, the second time the walk down dumps you to the A minor 7. So it's very easy to stay where you are. The pre chorus is a long A minor 7 to a long B minor 7, and that's your bar chord, moving one measure at a time. Oh, the day I met. So you can practice this independently to the most repetitive of the sections. Your love was the key. And then the fourth ending takes you to the C over D. You made me. So you practice that section um, independently, and then the chorus is just G and C pretty much. You make me feel, you make me... G major pentatonic scale. Don't stop on G, get to the A minor, and then the C over D. Again. Sorry. Be like a natural woman. Each section independently before you put it all together. Because what I notice in the lessons, you get one section, we move on, and then it gets a little fuzzy, and it gets fuzzier as we go along. So really lock them in, lock them in independently, and then we're going to put them all together and have a, a beautiful rendition. See ya!